goodness. Look at that. Just that chunker. Golly. I'm one lucky man. Look at that. Hey guys, how you doing? Sorry. I tell you, when, when you're getting ready for a tournament and you live in Ohio and my boat, my boat doesn't fit in the garage. So you take days like this, it's got, you know, the sun's out real nice and the wind's not blowing a hundred. A lot of times it's blowing 85 miles an hour. So um, I might be exaggerating by a mile or two, but not much. Uh, but you take advantage of these days but hey welcome back to the channel uh, I I know the last uh, video I think we got was in uh, uh, Florida so hopefully y'all enjoyed that one so what I'm packing for now is that we're getting ready to head to Florida for the actual tournament so I'm I, uh, I I'm also in, in the process of moving and so um, golly I've been moving every day I'm just ready to go fishing so cameraman russ and me we're going to head out uh here a week from sunday and we're going to head down to florida and i'm hopeful i'm hoping that we're south enough that it's not cold and when i say cold if it's 55 or 50 degrees and higher i'm going to be real happy with that uh because ohio when we're down there we're going to be in the uh, teens here so uh hopefully um we'll be in a little warmer climate and I will not complain about that whatsoever so just make it how many of you guys use rod socks for your crappie rods uh, uh, drop me a comment below how many of you guys use rod socks I I use rod socks a lot with all of my rods and reels and really enjoy the organization of it so uh, it's it's definitely helpful to me so but uh, uh, just making sure all my Jinko rods are ready to go. And hopefully, if with any, any bit of luck, I might be able to use this setup. This is a 10 foot uh, X series. The cameraman can catch that. It's a X series 10, Tony Shepard. And this is a rod, this is my utility rod that I use all the time here in Ohio with uh, jig and cork set up and so it wouldn't hurt my feelings at all if it was what we get to use down here in Florida but I think we're still gonna have to I think we're still early enough in Florida there that we're gonna have to focus in the creek channel uh, more so there may be some sneakers out there on uh, on the flats but but yeah, but anyhow, you know, a, a tournament fisherman's work is never done. Um, you know, I'm still a couple weeks out from the actual tournament, but we want to make sure everything is in working order. Uh, like I said, I use these rod socks. It just helps keep everything organized in the boat. I don't know if the camera guy can get, he can get a shot of it. You know, it's just all in rod socks there. So that's... Uh, that's just it helps keep everything just super organized but um but well you know part of what we'll do is you know i'm, I'm gonna have the i got the truck scheduled next week for an oil change and i'm still about 800 miles before my next needed oil change but we're going to travel about 800 900 miles going to florida so uh no sense taking a chance there i stopped off at freedom outdoors dropped the boat off at freedom outdoors and they got my boat serviced changed the lower unit oil did all of that stuff so uh, i'm down to the part that i just have to make sure all my gear is ready and packed uh, i had a tournament last year in 2023 uh oklahoma and uh lightning struck my uh where i had my boat plugged in and it fried my trolling motor and my spare trolling motor was laying at home <laughs> on the garage floor 
and the place where I went to have it looked at, they didn't have a spare trolling motor or even one I could buy. So I ended up driving 15, 16 hours home uh, on the first tournament day. So uh, I have a spare trolling motor and I have a, on my check sheet. So I have uh, the item checked and then I have a third column now because of that event called loaded. So that means, yes, it's loaded in the vehicle and it's all ready to go. So, um, but as a tournament guy, you know, uh, I'm not going to have, I don't think, I'm pretty certain I'm not going to have my crappie brakes installed yet on uh, for this tournament. But the next tournament, I, I will have my crappie brakes installed. So that's exciting to get those crappie brakes installed. Um, you know, I've been, the camera guy picks up, you know, I'm uh, partnered with PowerPole and I've been using the drift paddles and drift paddles do a fantastic job uh, but i'm also going to use those and the crappie brakes so i'm going to have a, a stomp switch up front to where i can get that boat to stop and be able to drop down on a fish and the reason why we want it to be able to stop is you're you're covering water to try to find that one fish you're looking for and so when you find it you got to be able to stop the boat without blowing all the trolling motor wash out the front so we got the crappie brakes on I get hit the stop switch, boat stops, and I have the drift paddles that, to help stat. Um, guys, make sure you jump on all my social medias. Uh, make sure you're looking at uh, Matt Tuttle uh, on Facebook, Matt Tuttle Fishing on Instagram, uh, Matt Tuttle's Crappie Guide Service, and Matt Tuttle Fishing on uh, um, TikTok. And just that's where I update and tell, talk about what's going on. And I'm also announcing uh, new sponsors and such. And one of the new sponsors we have for 2024, I'll announce here, is uh, American Hero Hunt. And guys, American Hero Hunt, this has been one of the more special sponsors that I've had. And that is a organization that selects a, a veteran or a first responder, and they'll take him on duck hunts, snow geese hunts, uh, deer hunts, fishing trips, and it's 100% free to that hero. So if that hero doesn't have a gun, one will be supplied. That includes licensing, that includes stay, everything. Uh, if you go on a deer hunt, your deer will be processed, vacuum sealed, and taken with you in a cooler when you leave that weekend. So guys it's an amazing amazing organization um, if you have a hero in your family go to americanherohunt.com and uh, put their name in for a hunt and then they put them in a random draw and they select them and then hang on the president's calling me how about that camera guy ain't that something <laughs> President is calling me. He's wanting some advice. It's the first time he's called me in three years. I'll get back to him. So, um, get on the American Hero Hunt. If you can't, if you don't have a hero to, to nominate, donate. If you know a corporation that's looking to to fund a, an organization that does something really special for our veterans and first responders, have them look into American Hero Hunt. There's different levels of sponsorship, so you can put five bucks in there, or you can put $500,000 in. It, and all of this money go to funding, taking these guys hunting and fishing. And uh, there's no big executives or anything in this organization. It all goes back to the outdoors. So make sure you keep up with my socials and what American Hero Hunt's doing. We're really excited to take them along with us this year. Uh, my partner, Randy Buzzard, uh, is uh, uh, I think we're gonna have a great time this year and uh, I really look forward to it. So guys, make sure tell everybody you can. Share this video for everybody you can. We we're trying to grow this channel. Matt Tuttle Fishing. Make sure you subscribe, like, that way you keep up and never miss an episode. Hang on, 2024 is gonna be exciting.